Oh, epic viewers from around the multiverse, prepare to indulge in experiencing sheer bliss, because today another Riven Captain Stellar video of unbearable eBay auction regress is about to be brought to fruition. What will this episode entail, you may ask? Without further delay, without further procrastination, allow me to demystify the answer to that inquiry right here, right now. This series encompasses my unbearable eBay auction regress. I'm going to elucidate what recently transpired, which I have qualms about, and which deeply disturbs me. Now, why does this agitate me? Why does this infuriate me? Why is this a calamitous situation? Well, you need to first understand my perspective. Let me just give you some background. I love the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. Therefore, I have a proclivity to purchase Yu-Gi-Oh! merchandise. I have a prodigious collection of deluxe Yu-Gi-Oh! Madokas. Furthermore, I love the like, Zodia Necros character. He's audacious. He's stoic. He's intimidating. He has the temerity to charge. He has the temerity to charge into the fray battle and decimate anyone within his vicinity. Is he the antithesis of Exodia? Is he the doppelganger of Exodia? Is he the nemesis of Exodia? Is he the arch rival of Exodia? I do not know. I do not know the lore appertaining to this character. All I know is that he's an epic, stoic, mighty, powerful Yu-Gi-Oh monster. So, therefore, I was naturally inclined to buy this figurine. Furthermore, this figurine is scarce. It seldomly appears on eBay. The seller listed this figurine amid December of 2015. Unfortunately, I was startled. To my dismay, his asking price was over $100. I would have had to concede to paying at least $104.50 to procure the figurine. I made an earnest attempt to haggle down the price. The seller was disinclined to accept my offer. He would continuously relist the item at $104.50. That was the grand total of the item. $95 for the initial bid in conjunction with $9.50 for the shipping costs, and that doesn't include any unexpected surcharges that may be brought to fruition. So I wasn't content with paying $104.50 for the figurine immediately unless someone was willing to um, bid on the action figure as well. I would typically monitor the auction for the figurine. I would be on standby to bid amid the final 10 seconds of the auction if someone were to bid on the figurine first that would prompt me to bid. Unfortunately, the one time someone did bid on the auction, I was absent. The auction ended at um, 7.30. To my dismay, I arrived back on my computer at 7.53 p.m. The seller bid amid the final Two, minute, two minutes of the auction. Or perhaps maybe the final. Two seconds of, two seconds of the auction. I'm unsure. Apparently it ended at um, 7.30pm on January 10th of 2016. And he seemed to bid within that minute. So... After the time elapsed for the auction, I ride back to my computer, 23 minutes too late to bid, and wound up losing this figurine. Now, I would have bid a maximum of up to $150 if I was on my computer at um, the time the prospective buyer bid on the figurine. I didn't want to bid in advance. I don't want to ever prompt other people to counterbid me. I was hoping that I could procure this figurine for under, 140, uh, for under $104, but I would rather pay up to $150 and not procure this figurine at all. So in other words, because I pushed my luck, because I didn't bid in advance, because I wasn't present at my computer amid the end of the auction, I wound up losing the auction. I had ample opportunities to purchase this model. I watched it remain unpurchased via eBay through, through the course of over a month. It was continuously relisted, and I was reluctant to 
bid on it because I was hoping that I could procure it for under $105, but I would rather pay even more than $105 than forgo the figurine at all. But because I pushed my luck, because I was too, um... obstinate, it culminated in me losing this Exodia Deluxe Necros Monoket. It's definitely akin to an action figure. It has ample points of articulation. It has a robust design. It has high quality textures, high quality shadings. It stands roughly 13 inches tall. It towers over nearly every action figure that a typical action figure collector possesses. I just love his aesthetics, I love his hues. He contrasts eminently well to Exodia. He was produced by Mattel. He was churned out amid the early 2000s or the late 1990s. When Yu-Gi-Oh! was at its peak, when it was at its pinnacle, when it was at its plateau, Mattel was churning out Yu-Gi-Oh! merchandise. Bandai was as well. Unfortunately, companies have desisted from producing new Yu-Gi-Oh! merchandise, so... These figurines are not found on store shelves. You can only hope to get them via the second-hand market, and you have to concede to the asking prices of the seller. You could strive to haggle down the prices, but you may do so to no avail, so I shouldn't have pushed my luck. I'm real agitated because this, may, this figurine may never resurface on eBay again. There's zero listings for it at the moment. I hope that another Exodia Necros model kit emerges on eBay within the next half a decade. It may not. I need to be optimistic. Am I jubilant? Am I buoyant? Am I gratified? Am I content with my decision? I unequivocally am not. I'm really agitated. Why am I so vehement, you may ask? Well, I'm a devout, avid Yu-Gi-Oh! fan. I just relish every facet of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monster series. I also love prodigious, stellar, robust, intricate, novel, uncanny action figures. This figurine would have eminently appeased me if I could add them to my action figure collection. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do so, so it is what it is. I shouldn't have pushed my luck. I should have heeded my own advice. I do this too often. I always strive to procure figurines or model kits for the absolute lowest prices, and it culminates in me for an opportunity to buy them. I should have bid on this figurine in advance, or I should have desisted from preparing food so that I could have been present while the auction was ending, I shouldn't have winged it. I shouldn't have prepared food shortly before the auction ended. Because every time I do that, I'm more inclined to be absent amid the end of the auction. He seemed to bid within the final 10 seconds of the auction. At um, 7.30pm, apparently. So, there's nothing I can do to rectify the situation. It is what it is. I hope that in the future, the figurine will reappear on Amazon or eBay, but there's no guarantees with anything in life. The future is an enigma, the future is obscure, the future is unforeseeable, the future is precarious, so I can just hope for the best. I don't want to be pessimistic, so... I'll desist from further harping on negativity. I need to move on with my life. And cope with my losses. Cut my losses. Move on. And be gratified for what I possess. Be grateful for what I possess. And not wallow in negativity because I yearn to possess more. So, 
I should be appreciative and not pessimistic, to say the least. So, I'm sorry if this video rendered you dreary and dejected, but if you're imbued with passion, if you love the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, then you can understand my sentiments. Perhaps you, you don't. Perhaps you, you're gonna possess this figurine as well. And if you do, then you can understand my perspective and where I'm coming from. But if you detest and disdain the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, then you may not be able to relate to my sentiments, which is okay. You're supposed to be a unique character, and not akin to every other sentient being on the planet, so I'm dismayed, I'm agitated, I'm infuriated, but there's nothing I can do. My decision to not be in advance, my decision to be absent amid the final minutes of the auction, when it was posted for the fourth or fifth time with asinine me, I definitely regret my decisions, I have qualms about my decisions, but I can't reverse the past. I can only hope for the best. So, I hope that you deem this video to be enthralling and insightful. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.